good evening students here uh, we will see one uh, serious question that is recent question 2023 question this kind of models uh, are important for your uh, upsc civil service exam also here they may ask you in a different way like uh, find the number of zeros in the given product so like this uh, they may give you here they are giving a question like what is the largest power of 10 that divides the product okay so here you need to find out the number of zeros here okay trialing zeros for that you learned in your foundation class and you know, i will give you a revision purpose you can see this one how to find the number of trialing zeros in the given pro product the first of all you need to know about what do you mean by a trialing zeros a trialing zeros is nothing but a, in a simple way you take that a zero digits with no non-zero digit to the right of it so i'll give you a example here for example let us see this one so like this i am writing here here if they ask you to find out the number of zeros or trialing zeros here then what you need to do here is you need to take this three zeros only why since uh, read it again here it is the zero digit with no non-zero digit to the right after these three zeros there is no digits are there which means no non-zero digits are there right whereas here why we are not considering these two zeros so that is also important since uh, we are not considering these two zeros since uh, a non-zero digit is uh, right of that uh, zeros so therefore we should not consider this one that is why we are not considering these also this one also we are not considering since uh, we do have a non-zero digit to the right of the zero digit okay please remember this is the very important concept with respect to trialing zero then uh, in our class itself we have done a uh, simple trick here is express the given expression in the product of two and five and then uh, count their powers we need to take the least power among them right so this is the procedure you need to follow and one more uh, procedure is there you need to find number of uh, zeros in a given factorial this model is also very important this method we have done during the foundation class itself okay for example your to do a calculation with respect to this one what you need to do here is just to find like this f of n is equal to n by 5 n by 5 square n by 5 cube so like this you can find when you have to stop at this procedure that i will tell you then suppose if you are having a doubt then you can do this one also n by 2 n by 2 square n by 2 cube so like this you can do in order to find out how many fives are there how many twos are there then we can take a least power among them this is the two methods more than sufficient uh, to solve such a questions now let us do a question here so this was asked in the recent uh, year cds 2023 here they are giving you how many largest power of tens that divides which means that that has to be in the format of 2 into 5 when 2 into 5 forms a 10 such a how many 2 into 5s we can able to form right that gives you the number of powers related to the 10 that's it now let us see here the method one uh, we will do here first of all solution uh, let us see with respect to the method one i will teach you the method two also learn here with respect to method one uh, just take a uh, the product whatever a given product take 
which can be expressed either in terms of product of two or else a product of five. Reft of the things you can leave it. One can't be written in the two or a, right. So therefore leave it. Two yes we can take three. Not necessary since uh, we are not going to count uh, right three. So four we can take four that uh, you can take. So let us take a four. Five also required since we are going to express in the product of two into five. Right. Then six also okay. Seven not necessary. Can't be expressed either in the tables of two or else in the table of five. Leave it. Then eight yes. Nine no since you cannot express that in terms of either two or uh, as well as five. Ten yes you can express. Eleven can't leave it. Twelve can. Thirteen can't leave it. Fourteen can. Fifteen can. Sixteen also fine. Then. 17 not required 18 okay 19 can't required okay it is not necessary 20 is fine 21 not able to write then 22 yes okay 23 not necessary 24 okay 25 also okay 26 also okay 27 is not required since uh, you can express that in terms of your product yes 9 into 3 even we don't know right or else we do not require that 9 into 3 etc leave it 27 leave it 28 yes 29 leave it now listen very carefully further reduce that can be expressed in the form of two powers and five powers the first thing here is to check the least powers first of all so here this 15 can be expressed in terms of 3 into 5 this 20 can be expressed in terms of 4 into 5. 25 can be expressed in terms of 5 into 5. Now here 1 5 is there. This 10 can be expressed in terms of 2 into 5. Now how many such a 5 powers are there? Check here. Here 1, 2, 3, 4. Here 2 5s are there. So therefore 4 plus 2 6. Therefore 6. Now obviously what is the second step you need to take the least power among them here if the power of 2 is more than 6 stop it listen we can take a answer as a 6y the second step we have provided is you need to take the least power among them right that much of 2 into 5 is only we can able to form right even if more 2 powers are there but we are not having 5 powers then you cannot form 2 into 5 that is related to the 10 no fine leave it that one so check here 1 then uh, here also we can take a 1 here also we can take a 2 right this can be written as 2 square then here 1 we can take your y since uh, this can be written as 2 into 3 so therefore check here 1 here 2 means 3 then here 1 4 here this is check your 2 cube right 7 so automatically greater than 6 when it is greater than 6 we can able to form the least one what is the least one 6 is the least one since the greater than 6 means 7 8 whatever the number you can take whether that is 7 or 8 is greater then 6 obviously x then uh, you cannot take that one since we need to take the least power for example 8 and 6 let us take this one 2 power 5 power which is the least 6 this much of 2 into 5 is only you can able to form right since uh, even this much of things we can able to form the rest one is uh, 2 power 7 right another 2 here so therefore 2 power 1 2 power 8 means you are forming like this. But you are not having a 5s. Without having a 5s, you cannot form a product as a 10. So therefore, leave that one. Okay. So now you have found the least one. The least one is a 6. So answer here is 6. That's it. So that only provided here as a procedure. Express the given in the Okay, expression of 2 into 5, yes, 2 into 5 we have expressed here, 
then we are checking with the power then what is the second step take the least power among them so what is the least power among them six is the least All right now i will teach you the method two here so learn the method two also so method two is like a, a factorial can we write these as a factorial what do you mean by a factorial n factorial can be written as 1 into 2 into 3 into etc etc up to n right let us see here this 29 factorial is nothing but a 1 into 2 into 3 into etc etc up to 29 the reverse also fine okay don't say like this also this is also fine n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into etc etc into 2 into 1 this is also fine you don't have any exact definition for the factorial here what do you mean by a factorial a continuous product up to that given number n okay starting from 1 so that is nothing but the simple definition of your factorial now this 1 into 2 into up to 29 can be expressed as a 29 factorial yes it can be expressed as a 29 factorial then what is the procedure in order to find out a number of phi's here which is equal to 29 by phi 29 by phi square like this what is the phi square 25 now 29 by 125 when you have to stop uh, this method listen very carefully when the numerator is uh, lesser than the denominator you stop here therefore we don't want since it is a you can call this as a greatest integer function okay what you need to do here is you take the integer part alone when you are dividing this one or else quotient alone right how many times phi comes here listen very carefully 29 here 5 here 5 times right 25 take the quotient part alone so therefore five times here right here next one 29 here 25 here one time so therefore we have to take so therefore number of i's are six here so see this one method one also we are having number of i's as here six right still uh, you have a doubt means you can check with the twos number of twos also if it is more than six stop check here 29 by 2 how many times it comes this itself we can stop why 29 here 2 here so therefore 1 then 14 times 28 it is greater than right 14 we don't want to calculate it is simply we can able to see that it is more than a 6 since we need to take the least power so 16 here 14 with this itself we can conclude that 6 is least so the answer for this one is 6 you can use the method 2 also so now if you are having a doubt you can ask okay or else we will move on to the next problem okay